So in Exodus 3 and 4, Moses has his burning bush moment. That moment when God calls him to do a great thing with God. And immediately Moses begins making excuses. And we've talked in a couple of these videos now about how you may have had your burning bush moment. That moment when you feel like God has called you called you to do something great. Talk to your neighbor about Jesus. Walk alongside somebody whose life is a mess, but they want it to be better. To teach that Bible class, to do something amazing for the Lord. And you started making excuses. You know, Moses' first excuse was, well, who am I to go? And remember God said, well, you're the one I'm going to go with. And then Moses said, well, what if they ask me a question I can't answer? And God said, I'm always the answer. And then he came through and said, but what if they don't believe me? And God said, here are these signs. They'll be proof in your action. You know, when we make our excuses before God, I, sometimes we say, who am I? And I want to remind you again, God's going to be with you. And we may say, but what if they ask me something I don't know? And we've talked about, you've got to remember the real thing you need to know is Jesus God, that's always the answer. Everything should point to them. But what if they don't believe me? Well, your life is also, your actions are also the way you validate what you say by how we live and how we serve. But Moses wasn't through with his excuses. Even after all that, he said, but, oh God, I'm slow of tongue and I'm not quick. I, he didn't speak well. And God said, you know what, Moses? Who, who made your tongue? And you know what? I'll, I'll even give you Aaron. He speaks well, your brother. So I want to tell you a couple of things about that. One is, when you say, oh God, I think you're calling me to do this great thing, but I'm not talented enough. God's the one calling you. God's the one that made you. We've sometimes put so much emphasis on talent. We've missed the real point of doing great things in the kingdom. Because you see, if you're restricted to just talent, one problem is there's not going to be enough talented people. And number two, sometimes talent alone is not going to reach people, not going to do the great thing. You see, Christianity exploded in the first century. People were changing their lives and doing great things because God used common, ordinary people, uneducated people. He didn't pick the talented ones with the degrees. He used people like, well, me, and maybe like you. And then I'm going to tell you the other thing. When he told him he would let Aaron help him, that's the answer to a couple of those excuses. Remember when we talked a little bit about what if they asked me something I don't know? You know, there are people smart enough you can call and say, hey, I got to ask this question, and what about this, and what do you think, and what's a good way to answer that? And that helps. And then even if you think I'm not talented enough, you know, you're not solely responsible for the great things you want to do. You want to teach a Bible class? Get a co-teacher. You want to go talk to your neighbor about Jesus? Bring somebody else in. You want to walk alongside a struggling Christian? Get somebody to go with you to walk alongside of them. That's what God told Moses. You know, excuses don't ever cut it. So when God calls you to do that great thing for the kingdom, stop making excuses and go do it.